If you're watching this video, you're probably considering a bathroom renovation. We created this video to answer some of the most common questions that we get while guiding our clients through transforming their old bathroom to the bathroom of their dreams so that you can have a great renovation experience. So let's get into it. Question number one, how much does it cost? Most bathrooms range between 15 and $30,000. Here are some of the factors that determine whether it's a 15 or a $30,000 one. The size of the bathroom. Tile work. When installed properly, tile is one of the best finishes to install in a bathroom. However, installing good tile work takes time and very skilled labor, which drives up the cost. If you need a permit, this means you'll also need drawings made. Any fancy things like custom glass, standalone tubs, or heated flooring. The quality of the materials, not only construction materials, but also the finishes like tile, flooring, and faucets. The type of shower you choose. There are three main types of showers, corner or pre-built showers, tiled showers, and custom showers. Corner or pre-built showers are showers that come in a kit with the base, the doors, and the wall panels. Basically, a shower in a box. These come in various sizes that fit in a corner, between two walls, or to replace a bathtub, and these are the least expensive options. Fully tiled showers are showers with tiles on the walls and on the shower floor. And for custom showers, the options are endless, but here are some of the more common styles. An acrylic or composite base with tiles on the walls, an acrylic or composite base with acrylic walls, or a fully custom shower with tiles and custom glass. What is the best floor for bathrooms? Tile is one of the best options for a bathroom floor since it's fully waterproof and very durable. Luxury vinyl tile is also a great option. It's cheaper and easier to install than tile, but it's not quite as waterproof. It's made from vinyl, so it will never swell up from moisture. Luxury vinyl planks, or LVP as they're often referred to, is the same as luxury vinyl tile, except it comes in long boards and usually resembles wood flooring. Most laminate flooring is not suitable for bathroom applications as it's made from wood and when it comes into contact with water, it'll swell up and get destroyed. How long will the renovation take? The average bathroom renovation takes around two weeks. However, some bathrooms can be done in five days and some take a month. Here are some of the common things that affect the timeline. The size of the bathroom, tile work. Tile work is very technical work and takes a minimum of two days, but often three or four depending on the complexity of the project. Custom glass. Custom glass cannot be measured until the very end when the finished walls and floors have been installed. Then the glass gets ordered and cut. This means waiting between five and 10 days after completion for the glass to be installed and for you to be able to use your shower. Plumbing. If you're moving any plumbing fixtures like a toilet, a bathtub, or a vanity, this takes more time. Permits. If your renovation requires a permit, this can add a little bit of time due to waiting for inspections. Fancy things like heated flooring, custom shower bases, and custom tile work, standalone tubs or specialty shower heads, and even custom cabinetry can add to the time frame. Why are some contractors so much cheaper than others? When getting quotes from various contractors, it's very common for people to see a huge range in pricing for the same job. Here are some of the reasons why some contractors may have lower or higher prices. Some contractors are small or medium sized companies. Some contractors are just one single guy doing the entire job. And some contractors are large companies with sales teams, offices, and a large team of technicians. Typically the larger, more established companies will be priced higher than the smaller ones. Some may not use licensed trades like plumbing. When we use plumbers, we're covered under their insurance and license. So if they flood the house, we're good. This is critical. Some may not even have a license or insurance themselves. So make sure your contractor gives you his insurance information before he starts the work. Two million liability minimum. Some contractors may have too big of a team or are spending a lot of money on nice vehicles, a nice office, branding, and staff. All that stuff has to be paid for. Some contractors don't use good quality materials or skip on steps. Here are some examples of that we see quite often. The contractor didn't install a waterproof membrane under the tile work. This is a crucial step and is absolutely critical to preventing leaks and damage to your home down the road, but unfortunately, it's often overlooked. Contractor doesn't get a permit when he should. This is another common one. What parts of the renovation should be done by a licensed trade and what parts can be done by the contractor? It's very important that some parts of your renovation are completed by a licensed trade person and not by your contractor or his employees. For bathroom renovations, this usually means the electrical work and the plumbing. Both of these are highly technical trades 
where even the smallest mistake can have serious implications. Another reason is that most contractors are strictly forbidden by their insurance company to do electrical and plumbing, which means if there was ever an issue or a claim, their insurance would be voided and this could mean big problems for you as the homeowner. So make sure your contractor is using licensed subtrades. Who will be doing the work? On a typical bathroom renovation, we usually have two skilled lead hands working on site. We also have a project manager who oversees the project, communicates with the clients, coordinates with the subtrades, and ensures that the lead hands have the materials and the information they need for a smooth and efficient process. We also bring in specialized tradespeople for certain aspects of the renovation. Examples of this include electricians, plumbers, and tile installers. Here are a few more tips to help you make the most of your renovation and avoid common mistakes. Ask your contractor for their insurance information and ensure that any subtrades that they're bringing in also have the proper insurance. Make sure you are clear about the scope of work and the materials that they're going to use. If the estimate is vague, make sure you get clarification. Make sure you sign a written contract. You wouldn't purchase a $30,000 vehicle without some documentation or a contract, so why skip this step for a renovation? This will protect you if things go sideways. Make sure the contract clearly states important details, such as the scope of the work, the timeline for completing it, what happens if unexpected things arise, and a payment schedule. Ask your contractor for references from recent clients and call them. Ask your contractor how big their team is and who will be doing the work. Smaller teams will typically be cheaper, but will take longer and may not be around in a year or two. Larger teams will typically be more expensive, but will do the work faster and will likely be able to handle a recall or a warranty issue down the road. Don't skip on a permit. If a permit is required for the work being done, make sure you get one. This will ensure the work is checked and done properly and will protect you moving forward. We hope that these tips will help you make a more informed decision on your next renovation. For more helpful information like this, visit our website or check out our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and have a great renovation.